Well, according to a recent survey, only 19% of Generation Z consumers, that's the young adult generation, they reported that they um, have a solid grasp. So only 19% feel like they have a really solid grasp on their credit. Here with tips on how Gen Z can get a little bit of better grip on those finances. We got Carla from Chastain Financial. Carla, welcome back. Yeah, Hi. welcome back. Glad to be here. Thanks yeah, for having to have you. So, Catch me up. What is Generation Z? Okay, that is 1995 to 2015. So okay. if you're born in those time frames, so that'd be like my boys. Okay. My okay. kids. So, so yeah. right under the group after the millennials. The millennials. Correct. Okay. Generation. Correct. And why do you think they f don't feel ne necessarily financially educated? They haven't been taught. Mm. I truly think that if our schools don't step up and start teaching these kids, they don't know how... I said it all began when they took cursive away. <laughs> they can't write a check. Um, checkbooks aren't really there. You have a debit card now. Uh -huh. Right. Um, it's just... And it's easy to just spend easy. money on that sure. thing. Yes, sure. yes. I mean, we're the Instagram generation, or right. they are for sure. Instant, let's go, let's do yeah. this. And they just have not been taught. Yeah. What do you think are some financial struggles that Generation Z specifically faces? Um, budgeting, mm. how to live within their means, how to live below their means. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's um, a good one. <laughs> and you want to live below your means so Absolutely. that you can that's save some money, right? Success. Sure. For success. Uh, the Latte Factor yeah, is a book that. that I strongly suggest everybody read. Okay. Okay. I don't care if you're 70 or if I gave it to some clients to give to their daughter and she is a senior in high school. Yes. So even or even younger, it's told as a story. Okay. But you know, PE, we've heard over and over that, oh, you buy a coffee and you're just um, blowing your money. I won't say what they really Right, <laughs> right, right. You're doing away with, you know, millions sure, and millions yeah, of dollars. Means. But you have to enjoy life. Yeah. And this tells the story. One thing I like about it is it talks about a budget. Budgets don't work only for corporations. Mm -hmm. Knowing what your means are. So um, you can have your coffee in the morning. Yes. I am it. I am a coffee addict. Right. Same. So I have my coffee, but okay, I'm going to take my lunch. Right. Or I'm going to come home for supper. It's all without living beneath your means. And I think there's a formula that 50% to your living expenses, okay. 30% to fun. Mm -hmm. And then 20% to savings. Make yeah. sure you're doing that savings at 20% at least. Yes. Then have fun because life's too short. And if you don't enjoy it, what's the purpose? Right. Yeah. 50, 30, 20. 50, um, 30, 20. It's a good it. rule. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I do That's too. That's a good formula. What kind of clients do you accept? Do you, do you have clients that are Generation Z? Do you have clients yes. that are... My, okay, so like my son, he's um, a big person now. Yeah. <laughs> and so he sat down with me and said, so with that age, we were talking, you know, should I do my 401k? I was yeah. like, mm, let's, okay, think of this as you're a farmer. Would you rather pay tax on the seed or on the harvest? Mm. He was yes. well on the seed. I said, okay, then do the Roth 401 that your company offers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pay the tax now. Taxes are going to be higher in the future. Pull it out tax free. You've got all the information. You <laughs> surely do. I love everything. Carla Chastain, we appreciate you so <laughs> much. So We're going to have more information me. as well over on our website, nwahomepage.com.